Hey guys, hello everyone and welcome to another part of Smart Question series, your daily dose of smart problem solving. In this series, we are taking some questions which has been asked in the previous years of CSRNet and GATE exams and these questions are challenging and tricky at the same time. So the idea is to provide you detailed solution of that and not only the solution but also related tricks related concept we'll try to understand all of them in detail all right so you can find out this particular series by just searching for hashtag sqs on youtube and uh, now we will start with it so in the past video in the previous part of this smart question series we have taken a question of quantum chemistry uh, where we have discussed about the uh, variational principle uh, and it also has a hermitian operator so we have solved that related to it so if you have not watched it please watch that from the uh, playlist and I'll also include that in the i button you can click and watch that video. Moving ahead to the next part where we are now taking a question from commutation okay. Now this question was asked in CSIR net uh, like this was asked in um, CSIR uh, June 2024 exam which was the last CSIR net exam and this question was asked for 4 marks. Now the thing is that this particular question includes a very different type of commutation because generally people know the formula or the value of commutation of x, px, uh, something like that. But here we have power in x also and px also. By the way, if you don't know about it, x is a position operator and px is linear momentum operator. Uh, it has been mentioned over here itself. So they are asking what will be the value of it. And to solve this question, you need to know two basic things. One is the commutation rule uh, when you have certain multiple of operators and the second thing is the general formula where you have x to the power something and px with that and you have you are calculating commutation of that okay so i have discussed all these things like i have covered this topic of commutator on my youtube channel itself and i have made a detailed video on it that's roughly around 30 to 35 mi minutes video and i have almost covered everything in that particular video so you can watch that video I'll give you link of that in the i button you can watch that also we have covered this topic in detail on our gamma batch which is running on our app and on our website more about that at the end of this video but uh, yeah we have a detailed batch for physical chemistry running on our app and website links are there in the description of this video you can enroll yourself into that batch uh, that batch is for gate and CSIR net both exams all right now coming back to this question let's try to understand what it says so it says that the commutator of x square px square is equals to okay and you have four different options to solve this question the basic technique or i would say the basic rule uh, or identity with respect to a commutation which you need is that uh, like we use this that if you have a commutation of a b dot c okay so these all are operators i'm just giving a cap to them so if you are doing a commutation of a operator with the product of two operators b and c so you get uh, yeah so with this you get the b operator outside and then you write down like you do commutation of a and c operator and plus uh, you have now a and b operator and then you have your c operator okay so something like this so this is um, the rule or the general rule of uh, using commutation okay this is a very important identity which has been used multiple times to solve certain questions remember the position of them or these operator is very important because uh, you are going to operate them uh, on the wave function depending upon their positions okay so their position is very important how i have done it just to make sure that you remember it easily so you have b multiplied with c take b outside and write it once and remaining a and c and then take c outside but the c will go at the end and b will come in front okay depending upon which is before so if b is before it will come out uh, in the front and if c is later it will go at the end just like that and you have to add plus sign here okay now let's try to solve this question for the given question okay we are given with um, x square and px square okay the same thing you can write down in one more way you can write it down as x square now you will think that how i am going to apply this okay so let's see so you can write it down like this that px multiplied by px now although it is px square you can uh, write it down as product of the same thing with itself now although both of them are same thing 
this is also px and this is also px but you can consider this as b and this as c so what i'm going to consider is i'm going to consider this as a operator okay i'm going to consider this as b operator and i'm going to consider this as c operator okay and with respect to that what i should get upon solving this is that i should write down b first of all that means i should write down px uh, first of all and then i should write down um, like the value of x square and then i have uh, px all right so i have written b outside which is this and then a and c a is this and c is this and plus then i will write down a and b which is this and this so i will write down x square and px and the px outside so it goes like this okay so this is how i have written just to make sure you understand this okay now i just have to apply another identity okay so note just make a note of it if you don't know about it so just make a note of it that if you have this is just a trick okay this is just a simple trick you can easily derive it but that will take a lot of effort i am not going to do that part because it, it just the trick works everywhere so you can just remember the trick so if you have x to the power n and px if you have the commutation of this x to the power anything and if you are commuting it with px so x will be linear operator sorry position operator and px is linear momentum operator then this should give you n i h cross and uh, then you should have x okay so this is what you should get n i h cross x this is the value which you should get if i reverse the order if i reverse their order and if I write down, let's say px, comma x to the power n, in that case I will get I should be getting minus n i h cross x. Okay, so the minus sign will come if the x is written uh, like later, and if the x is written first, then plus sign will come, and it will be n i h cross x or n i h cross minus n i h cross x. Okay, this is the identity which we are going to use. So using that, now I'm just going to write down this whole thing again. So we have, um, yeah, so we have um, px and commutation of, uh, sorry, x square and px. So we have x square px and plus, then I have x square px and then px, right? So this is what I have. Now, if I use the same identity, okay, so what is the value of n here? So, this, this thing looks like this, right, x to the power n px, yeah, just like this, x to the power n px. So, in the place of n, I can write down 2 here, okay. So, that means, I will just write down that since, that since x square px will have a value of 2 i h cross x, right because it is just from x to the power n px. So, n i h cross x because x is written in front. So, that is what we are going to use. So, value of this and this you have already got. Okay. So, that means you will get px and in the place of this whole thing, you can simply write down 2 i h cross x and plus in the place of this again, you will write down 2 i h cross x and px. Right. Now, you can open the bracket. So, this will become 2 i h cross now, order is very important, which will be written first and which will be written later. That is very important when you are doing the product. Okay. So, 2 i h cross uh, p x x and plus here it will be 2 i h cross um, x p x. Now, you can take uh, 2 i h cross common. So, 2 i h cross can be taken common. This will become p x x plus x p x. Now, when you have commuted, uh, sorry, when you have operators, you can write it down in the reverse order also. I mean, the plus sign can be changed, right? You know that uh, the sum of two operators a plus b is equals to b plus a. Okay, so that means you can interchange the position. Why? Because in the options you have x p x first. That's why I'm interchanging them. So this is nothing but two i h cross x p x plus p x x. Okay which is nothing but your option number fourth.
so option fourth becomes your correct choice with that right so these two things were the most important things uh, one is this and the other one is to know about these two, two things okay and it's very important if you are preparing for uh, csr net or gate exam uh, identities with respect to commutation is very important and you should know them all right so that's it from my side for this particular video i hope you guys liked it if you want uh, more content you can purchase our ebook which is for csr net and that ebook contains detailed solution of all the questions starting from csr june 2011 till csr june 2024 we also have a ebook for gate so for gate exam we have the ebook which contains all the detailed solution starting from gate 2000 to gate 2024 we also have our own batch for physical chemistry running on the app as well as on our website the app is gamma uh, the batch is gamma batch which is running right now the batch contains all these classes in the form of detailed lectures along with that you also get mock test to practice your questions and we are also introducing our test series test series for gate has been already launched and it's already running on our app uh, and on our website you can purchase the test series that test series contains detailed or full length tests uh, which also has uh, video solutions with them and we also have topic wise mock test and we also have mixed mock test and these things are available on our app and website all these important links are there in the description of this video you can make your purchase you can look up on our website and choose whichever looks good for you and that's it from my side for this video see you guys in the next one till then have a great day bye bye take care